it's great to see you. Hi, Joe. <laughs> you. I'm glad you're here. Listen, hi, buddy. How are you? Interrupting retirement in Florida, Ted Williams returned to Hoover High to film a segment for the sports legend's television show. But it was clear that visiting with old friends and talking baseball nonstop were more to the former Boston star's liking. I'm really happy to be here and see some of my old classmates and teammates and uh, uh, nothing would be more enjoyable than that because I don't see them very often. I'm way east and they're way west, but I'm laying plans for them to come and see me in Florida. He was a great hitter um, from the time he was a young man. Now, it wasn't just uh, automatic. He worked at it. Uh, he, he worked hard. He spent hours at University Heights Playground. He'd uh, beg kids to shag balls for him so he could so he could hit one of the game's most feared hitters and respected batting instructors still can't resist giving pointers to a pitcher especially one considered the best around today why do you think that's a good position try to get the, you know the whole thing try to get the four why seams why get the four right. seams same thing we're talking about last night why why does get that the friction over here <clears throat> get the friction on the why point. tell me why with four seams more friction you're gonna get more no friction. that ain't right that it? ain't right <laughs> <laughs> it's a bigger sphere. It's a bigger sphere this way than it is that, that is way. That way. Ted Williams toured the Hoover High campus, signed scores of autographs, and talked baseball with the stars of tomorrow. But his greatest impression may have been left in a message for a school time capsule to be opened in 50 years. Wrote Williams, I should have worked harder as a student. Education is so vital. Ted Williams' classroom was a baseball diamond, and he got nothing but straight A's. Dave Cohen, TV8 News at Hoover High. You don't play him?